What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to That Sounds Terrible. Today's episode is about the Lichlorm Audio Amber Spyglass. Now, this pedal has been on my radar for quite some time, and uh, when when Daniel first kind of stopped making them, or Lichlorm Audio, when they first stopped making them, um, I was super bummed, and I was I was always on the hunt for reverb. I had you know alerts set up, and I was constantly browsing forums and stuff, and nobody ever sold them and um i remember i was always pestering truck driver sean so you know i finally i finally almost talked him into it one day and um he still told me no bastard but anyways you know when when lichlorm finally started remaking them uh the new versions anyways uh, i went ahead and jumped on it immediately and i've had it for a while and you know i i don't really use a lot of stuff in the effects loop but that's really where this pedal shines and so that's what we're going to use it with today. So I figured I would just use it with my uh, Super Kraken because uh, I could turn the effects loop on and off from the front. Uh, this way we can get a true kind of before and after the, the pedal. Uh, but I'm going to boost the front of the pedal with a This Heavy Earth Grim. It's my favorite pedal uh, probably of all time for pretty much anything in that circuit uh, from the Screamer, Tube Screamer style circuits. But... Uh, so we're going to boost the front end with the Grim. We're going to use my Ibanez VTB 700, the Dark Moon NYC pickups, the Nemesis, and the Bridge is mostly what we'll be on. Uh, the Mojosone ISO cab with the uh, Warehouse Guitar Speakers, Dusty Warren Signature, the DW75, and the Jensen Nighthawk 75. Um, that's really it, man. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. so right off the bat let's talk about it a little bit the 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 spyglass here has an active eq um in the middle from what i understand in the middle position at noon the knobs are are at zero or neutral uh there's no effect and they're very touch sensitive so you you don't have to move them a whole lot um now the middle bottom row is a mid knob uh and then you have this little tiny one here i don't know if you can quite see it uh, that is a frequency knob. So on the left switch, when I turn it on, the change the color will change. I don't know if it's picking up. Yeah, you can kind of see it on the camera. Uh, but this will allow you to be like a parametric EQ where you can, uh, you know, pick the frequency for that mid range. Um, and I'll, I'll just kind of mess with the knobs all around uh, to show you how it sounds with the Super Kraken. So here we go. I'll also throw up a picture. Um, I'll try to remember to put it at the beginning uh, with my settings for the Grim, for how I'm boosting the front, uh, and then in comparison to the Amber Spyglass.
that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Amber Spyglass. Like I said, um, it's an incredibly versatile tool. Um, I'm not very good at dialing in extra sounds through the effects loop, but there's so much potential for this pedal. I'm gonna do another sound check video a little bit later on, and I'm gonna show you what you can do in the front end of the amp. Now again, I do this as a hobby. I'm not a professional, uh, so it is what it is. Uh, plenty of other people are doing better things or scripted things or whatever you want to call it with it. It is what it is. So anyways, tell me what you guys think. We'll see you in the next one.